within school, it wasn't um, wasn't as comprehensive. It was just more of a okay, this is what you do, this is what happens, um, be careful, and that's it. My personal experience with sex education it was a single assembly in eighth grade, and then they said, don't do it because you'll probably get STDs, STIs. So it wasn't very helpful um, for most of the students. It should be something that's taught every year as your body is developing like while you're going through school. I mean, I just feel like you should have to know this because um, it's just important to know just like any other subject in high school is. I mean, this is your body. Really just having it maybe small little courses here, you know, throughout the years of our high school or like even just like elementary, middle school and high school careers really introduce more of a welcoming, welcoming setting for sure to really know our bodies and know ourselves as people. Once I got into high school and into the Youth Leadership Council, which is the program I was a part of for four years, um, I was a lot more comfortable because uh, I already briefly uh, touched over that stuff in um, past years. Fifth grade was definitely, you know, the time where, you know, well, at least for me, that was during the time where um, where I did start my menstrual, my menstrual cycle. And so um, I did have questions about that. I got a lot of information from my friends and from like, boyfriends and stuff like that and partners, but that wasn't as helpful as getting it from someone who was educated in the field. birth control, we learned healthy relationships. Introducing the fact that there can be sexually transmitted diseases or, you know, even just the birth of a whole new being, you have to be responsible for that and taking the initiative to be healthy enough in your mind to understand, okay, with every action, there's a consequence. Um, may it be good or bad. Being able to sit into a sexual education class um, with a with a licensed professional, with with a professor or teacher in our classrooms, I think that it, it would be it's very beneficial for those who don't necessarily um, have the best family dynamic at home to ask those questions whenever they're curious. We learned um, all different types of cultural aspects as well. They also taught us how to um, drug and alcohol prevention, suicide prevention, safe talk. Knowing the difference between a healthy and toxic relationship, I think is super important. Knowing where those lines are and establishing boundaries and that sort of thing, I think that those are really helpful tools. Here they taught us more um, uh, curriculum focused stuff with um, like relationships and partners, so abusive relationships, um, how to maintain a healthy relationship as well on the positive side. Um, and that is really good because also where we come from is a lot of domestic violence, a lot of abuse, a lot of, you know, um, alcoholism. In regards to like actual like um, intimate relationship, um, like with, with a male partner, I do remember discussing um, consent. Um, that's also something that really did stick with me as well. Um, saying no, when to say no, whenever you feel uncomfortable. I remember um, discussing that within that topic, and I remember that was probably the, the, the topic that I felt was most beneficial to me personally. Education and career success, we did a lot of um, trainings, and they, they came in and they told us a lot about higher education. They tried um, showing us a lot of scholarships that would be applied for our community in particularly. I think communication with parents first because uh, it relies a lot on having like parents who are there for you in order to ensure that some of the lessons are actually being digested instead of just like thrown at you. Opening up a banking and savings account and you know just kind of just knowing how I could be able to manage my manage my money efficiently. I've learned a lot more, I could say, and I'm more cautious. So for students that um, that probably that do not um, have the best 
for the family dynamic and school for them to be able to ask questions about sexual education programs and pregnancy prevention. I think that the sexual education programs are definitely beneficial for them. And when, and when I and when I did go through what I went through, there I finally realized. I mean, I don't know that condoms were safer than not using condoms. Now that I've taken these classes, I can be a better friend to my peers, pass on the knowledge that I've learned from my host teachers. And my program was able to give me a purpose, give me a reason why to um, pursue higher education. They gave me a purpose to not make someone a teen mom um, or to become a teen dad. And they taught me a lot about how just growing up, um, things that I think kids from sixth grade should be learning now.